Good morning. Come along with me for a day in the life of a PACU nurse who works per diem while I'm full-time in grad school. So starting off, nurses who work in the hospital, there's about 5 million nurses and 1.7 million nurses work in the hospital. Usually nurses work 12-hour shifts. Those 12-hour shifts are typically 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. There's a little bit of variation, but it's typically 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. One of the things that I really like about working in the PACU is that there's a lot more flexibility with the scheduling. Because we are the post anesthesia care unit, our shifts start when the surgery starts finishing up. So at these large surgical centers, the first case is usually at 6 or 7 a.m. And then depending on how long the case is, the first case won't be out a lot of times until about 10 o'clock. So at my job, I can work eight hours, 10 hours, or 12 hour shifts, and I can start at six o'clock, nine o'clock, or 10 o'clock. I of course chose a 10 o'clock start time. And this day I had every intention of making it to a Pilates class in the morning, but I ended up running a little bit too late. So I decided to just stretch a little bit and do some handstand drills before walking into work. Personally, I am a savory breakfast girly. And because as a nurse, you never know when you're gonna be able to have time to take a break. It's really important for me that I have something that both has both carbs and protein before I head into work, just so that my brain has enough energy to make the critical decisions that I need to make to take really good care of my patients. I'm working on taking public transportation whenever I can. One of the things I really love about visiting my business partner, Chrissy Ciarne, I'll pop her up in the corner, <laughs> is all of the amazing public transportation in New York City. Well, that and the food and the way that the city never sleeps. I head to New York about every three months so we can record lectures and podcast for Confident Care Academy, our nurse education company, which has been so much fun to work on. You can check out our free YouTube and podcast episodes here. But yeah, I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of New York into my life by taking public transportation whenever I can. But since I already missed Pilates because I missed it because I was too late, I was like, okay, I'm gonna at least walk to the hospital. One of my favorite things about this job is that I can wear whatever I want to go to work because I'm picking up scrubs from the vending machine because I'm working in the perioperative space. So I'm in graduate school to become a CRNA. The CRNA is a certified registered nurse anesthetist. And during my training as a SRNA, I will pick up the scrubs so that I can be inside of the operative suite and we're keeping it as sterile as possible because I am also a PACU nurse. PACU nurses also wear OR scrubs. So I don't ever have to do my laundry. I pick up the scrubs, I drop them off, and then I can wear my PJs home. It is awesome and it's one of my favorite parts about being a PACU nurse. Before each patient comes out of the operating room, I make sure that I check my setup. One of the things anesthesia school really emphasizes is the need for processes and checklists. One of those checklists is SOAP ME. SOAP being suction, oxygen, airway, positioning, medications, and equipment slash monitoring. Because patients are coming out of the operating room still in the post anesthesia state, we really, really emphasize safety about the airway and we're doing a lot of monitoring about the airway in the PACU. So the two things that I'm make, making sure to grab as a PACU nurse are suction, every patient needs suction, and I'm making sure that I have an oxygen setup that is ready to go. Working in the PACU, is pretty fast paced. The patients come out and I monitor them for 20 minutes to one hour. I work in what is called phase one PACU. This means that they come out directly out of the operating room. Sometimes this means that they would come out of the operating room still intubated. And then I'm just monitoring for their airway patency. I am monitoring their hemodynamic stability and I'm really focused on ventilation and hemodynamics. So ventilation is the movement of air in and out of the lungs and more specifically in and out of the alveoli. And then hemodynamics is talking about how the blood moves through your arteries and veins and all of the forces that affect that blood flow. These are things I didn't really understand as a new grad, which is why in the Confident Care Academy membership, one of the first lectures we wrote was about monitoring hemodynamics, waveforms, swan gains, catheters, all of that good stuff. So the link is gonna be in the description down below to join the membership but then also check out the free lectures that we have on our shared YouTube with me and Chrissy. 
I get to take lunch pretty early this day, about 1.30, and I'm really grateful for the experience of working in the PACU while I'm in grad school. I specifically chose working in the PACU because I wanna learn from the experienced PACU nurses what I can do as an anesthesia provider to help our patients wake up well and really just streamline the post-operative experience. Working with nurses in the PACU is a really awesome opportunity to learn because most PACU nurses have been nurses forever. These are people who have been critical care nurses, ER nurses for years before they head over into the PACU. So I'm really trying to soak up their knowledge in my role currently as a PACU nurse, but I'm also taking tips and tricks with me into my journey as a SRNA. So hopefully I can prepare the team best I can on my end as an anesthesia provider. And for lunch, I'm doing HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. I've used them for years and this is not sponsored by them yet, <laughs> but we do the family of four meal plan for my husband and I so that we can pack the leftovers for lunch the next day. It cuts down on our food waste. It helps us get really nutritious foods, lots of vegetables, and it's something that I feel really good about. So I am having leftover tilapia and some vegetables. It's a really good lunch. I did heat it up in a separate microwave because I always feel bad about heating up fish in a shared employee break room. But yeah, really good lunch and now I'm back to work. By 6 p.m. there was only one more patient left to come out of the OR and there were three nurses who were scheduled. So they let me go home. Even if my wallet says otherwise, I am never going to say no to going home early. As an SRNA heading into my third semester, will I be able to keep this job through didactic? I don't know. The requirement is two shifts a month and then you can check out this YouTube video about whether or not you can work during CRNA school. The answer is that it's usually complicated. You can typically work the first two semesters and then not really for the rest of it. With the shift requirement of two shifts a month, if I call out a couple of times, I might be able to keep the job, but we'll see. I think I'm just gonna cross that bridge as I come to it. And I, in the meantime, I'm enjoying my job a lot. Please comment what you would like for me to talk about next time. And thank you for your support through my graduate school journey.